question I often get from people that watch this channel frequently, people that are from studio to stage subscribers, people that are convinced Ableton Live is the way to go if you're going to run backing tracks and click in tracks on stage. They often ask me, Will, what's the best version of Ableton Live if you're going to run backing tracks or use click in tracks on stage? So in this video, I want to really quickly answer that question and explain why. So as we've talked about in previous videos, uh, there's three editions of Ableton Live. There's intro, there's standard, and sweep. There's also Live Lite, which is a great way to get Ableton Live for free. Uh, it's a great way to get started started using live. Uh, and you typically get that when you buy a piece of hardware or software uh, that often includes a free download or a, a free uh, hard copy of Ableton Live Lite that you can start there. So, uh, but primarily we have intro, standard, and suite. So which of those three is the best version for running backing tracks? Now, I always tell people if you're just getting started with Ableton Live, then start with Lite. Again, hopefully you got it for free. If not, then purchase intro and get used to the program. Figure out if it's going to work for you figure out if it makes sense. The language it speaks is the language you speak. If things make sense to you, if you like the look of it, the feel of it. Um, and if you're convinced that it's good, then it's time to decide, do I get standard or sweet? So when it comes to backing tracks, using live on stage or backing tracks, which edition should we get intro standard or sweet? Um, generally the answer that I tell people once you know live is good, you've used intro, you, you, you're convinced that it's the version for you. If you really want to have the most success running tracks on stage, Page, you need Ableton Live standard. Here's the main reason you need standard. It's because of this right here. Ableton Live intro, again, is a great place to get started, but you're limited to 16 audio and MIDI tracks. You're limited to 16 scenes two send and return tracks and eight audio inputs and eight audio outputs. But as soon as I get to Ableton Live standard, I have unlimited audio and MIDI tracks, unlimited scenes. I have 12 send and return tracks and I have 256 possible audio inputs and 256 possible audio outputs. And you'll notice here, which is cool. And you go, well, okay, standard is great. Why did you not say sweet? Well, check out the difference between standard and sweet. As far as tracks go, this is what matters right here is audio and MIDI track count, scenes, send and return tracks, audio inputs and outputs. And they're exactly the same between standard and suite. So if all you're doing is running tracks and using backing tracks live on stage, Ableton Live standard is the way to go. But there's always got to be a but in every video. The, the reason you may want to upgrade to Suite is because of something called Max for Live. If I go further down this list, uh, you'll see Max for Live listed here is only available in Ableton Live Suite. Now you could purchase it as an add-on to standard, but if you're gonna do that, just upgrade to Suite. Just go ahead and upgrade to Suite. It, it makes sense. And what's great about Max for Live is it opens the door uh, for you to create your own instruments, device, uh, devices, and effects that you can use in Ableton Live. But even better, yeah, um, I'm not creating Max for Live devices, but what I'm able to do is take advantage of Max for Live devices uh, that others have created. So for instance, if you're running backing tracks, you may be interested in a set list management plugin like Setlist, like Taz Lite, Taz Pro, Ableset, um, which are all set list management plugins. You may be interested in one of those. And if you are, then you've got to have Max for Live. And so if you're interested in Max for Live, you've got to have Ableton Live Sweep. So in general, the best version of Ableton Live for running backing tracks is Ableton Live Standard. But if you want to use extra plugins that require Max for Live, then you're going to want to upgrade to Ableton Live Sweep. The thing I always remind people, though, is it doesn't mean you're out of money. Start with intro to figure out if, if it works for you, then pay the money to upgrade to standard. And then if you go, hey, I want to use Ableset, I want to use Taz Lite, Taz Pro, I want to use Setlist, uh, which requires Max for Live, then pay the difference to upgrade from standard to suite, and you will not be out of any money, and you slowly progress through each edition of Ableton Live. Now, if you want to support creation of content like this, support me, support this channel, then use the link in the description of this video and you can purchase Ableton Live or upgrade your version of Ableton Live at Ableton site. And at no cost to you, uh, because it's an affiliate link, you don't have to spend any extra money Purchase from Ableton site and Ableton will give me uh, a bit of money from your purchase. It's a way for you to say, hey, Will, thanks. And it's a way for Ableton to say, hey, thanks for sending this person to the Ableton site to purchase live. So if you like this content, if you appreciate it, want to say thanks, a great way to do that is click the link in the description of this video to purchase Ableton Live. The second best way you could do that is to click subscribe on this channel, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click the bell icon so you're notified when I post new content. I post new content every single day at 10 a.m. Central every day, Monday through Sunday. 
Every day there's a new tutorial, a new podcast or something on the channel. Uh, and if you click that bell icon, you'll be notified when it goes live and you can even join in in the premiere live uh, once the video releases if you want to and chat with like-minded folks like yourself at the same time. Thanks so much for watching this video. We'll see you on the next one, 10 a.m. Central. Take care everyone, bye.